News, Delaware Valley's leading news program, with meteorologist Melissa McGee, Jeff Skaversky, Sarah Bloomquist, and Walter Perez. Sunday night, I'm Sarah Bloomquist, along with Walter Perez. In the news this noon, a sunny day and the warmth will be making a return this week. Also, two longtime best friends from Delaware County make an amazing discovery. They look alike, they act alike, and that's because they're sisters. But the big story on Action News is the latest on the coronavirus outbreak. It has been a weekend of firsts. The first deaths have been confirmed in the United States, Australia and Thailand, and cases here in the United States continue to increase. Also a sign of how serious and unusual the situation has become. The Louvre in Paris, one of the world's most famous museums, closed its doors today amid fears of coronavirus. Action News reporter George Solis is following all today's developments and joins us now from the Satellite Center with details. George. That's right, Walter and Sarah. We just received word today that some universities in our area, including Temple, are asking students who are abroad to self-isolate for two weeks when they get back. All this comes as we are learning more about those COVID-19 cases here in the States. Rhode Island.